So um, we are going to finish up a few loose ends um, with this model and, and just enrich it. So to that end, I'm going to make sure that this version that we've created um, is shared properly with the class. So, so I'm going to upload it. And pardon me for just one moment. There we go. And further to my comment about how much of a difference this phenomenon of reusing information, the thing we call caching in computer science makes, you'll notice when I went to upload it, there's a secretly a little file here called cache, C-A-C-H-E. -C 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 um, for those from Western Canada, it's like Grand Cache. Um, in uh in uh alberta it um it stores once once certain routes have been figured out it will remember them so the next time you ask how to get from a to b if it has it already in its quick quick crib sheet book it will use that information it won't need to go out over the network and there are sophisticated ways that Eric knows and Wade knows much better than I for getting information that, that is needed for routing down onto your computer so that it doesn't have to query things through the internet. You may have noticed when we first ran that model, it had to do a lot of work at first at time 15. And when I say do a lot of work, it's not necessarily that, that the computer was doing massive amounts of computation. A lot of it was it was querying information over the web from GIS, geographic information servers, routing servers. If you want to see that, one thing you could do readily is like right now, you'll notice that randomness in this model is set to be a fixed seed, meaning every time it's going to be running it with the same assumptions. If we were to copy the baseline, I did copy, and we were to paste it in here, and I were to do paste, and I were to say baseline um, random seed. It's kind of an artificial construct. The point is every time it will be different. I'm going to change it to random seed for randomness. It was the same as the baseline, same assumption. All that's different is that each time it's going to be different when you run it. Chance events are going to be different. And if you run it now, that one you'll see at hour 15, there's a long pause as it's waiting for information to arrive back from the routing server. Okay. And you could use different routing servers over the web, but but you'll find, you know, you've got to go over the network. You could use them within an organization like SHA or whatever if they were available. But um, it will it will also go over the network. There are ways of getting that information on this computer that's being used so that it doesn't have to reach out elsewhere. And there's, you know, speed implications of that and there are security implications of that if you're a police agency and you're doing gis looking up the locations of the houses of known gang members you don't want to send that information out over the web you know what you're what you're requesting information on you want to have information locally so so there are these these delays caused by needing to query it um, online. Um, and if you run the model with different locations of resources every time, it will, it will um, end up querying, um, um, querying them uh, the different routes. Okay. Um, oh, another thing I should have said there, and I'm sorry for not mentioning it, was if we were running this um, and... I, I sort of uh, made the mistake of running that random one again. I'm, I should have run the, the earlier one. Um, but if I had uh, been 
a little bit more thoughtful, I would have shown you that um, you can actually zoom in on these maps and it is uh, vector-based graphics and it will actually fill in additional information here. So um, here's our fair university and uh, we're somewhere over in this little, uh, this little building, I think right there. Um, but the point is you, you zoom in more and additional information is shown. So uh, these maps have quite a lot of sophistication. They have quite a lot of resources uh, to support them. Okay, um, that was just sort of a comment on some of these issues with uh, performance, but we're gonna do something kind of interesting. So I'm gonna 